What up? What up? Um, so I'm trying to think about what I got fucking cat hair on my head. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think about how I was going to start this, but um, but let me just start it here. So I'm wearing a Bulls jersey, a Michael Jordan jersey, and the reason I love this jersey, the reason I wear it every opportunity I get and have everybody from Chicago bothering me, <laughs> asking me all these damn questions about, oh, what part of Chicago you're from? I was like, no, just a fan of Michael Jordan, just a fan of the, the 90s Bulls. Um, but anyway, the reason I love wearing this shirt is because you gotta find a model for greatness, right? You gotta find a model for greatness. You gotta find someone who inspires you to be great in every single aspect of your life. For me, that is Michael Jordan, right? I don't know what Mike's personal life is like, but what I do know is the man epitomized stick to like mental toughness and strength and like just perfection of one's craft. I watched The Last Dance three times. I watched it three times. And you know why I watched it three times? Because Michael Jordan alone, by how he carries himself as a basketball player, inspires me to clean the bathroom like an NBA champion. I don't know if that makes any goddamn sense, but you know what? It, it just sounds right. Like, this man inspires me to not leave any loose ends on anything that I do. And if I do that shit, I will beat my own self up because I do not choose to be a person that leaves shit undone, that leaves shit all halfway finished and whatnot. I used to be that way. I can tell you a story, shit that, that motivates me to this day. We're at Louisiana Tech University and I'd walked on, I walked on there. Like I said, it had to basically had to be Jesus Christ and walk on water uh, <laughs> to get a scholarship or not even a scholarship, but just to actually get the opportunity to play. And so, you know, I used to skimp, right? Because when I got tired, I would quit. You know, I said this in the last video, I would quit. I can be completely honest with you. My, I would quit if I got tired and my back was hurting and all that stuff because I didn't know what it meant to be great just yet, right? And then I'll never forget Damon Harrington, who's my boy now, but he was an assistant strength coach. He called me Cant Grant. When that motherfucker called me Cant Grant, that set a fire inside of me that made me never want to leave anything unfinished, which leads me to where I am right now, not being ran by, down by the cops but or an ambulance, but it leads me to the idea right now of what I would like to, to convey. And that is finding a model for greatness, right? And a model can be just simple motivation, right? It can be simple motivation. Like we, we talked about fitness and stuff. And now I'm really diving into that because that's one of my divine gifts. So why the fuck would I squander it? I'm talking to myself, you know, why not you choose that shit and do greatness and, 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 and continue to inspire the rest of the world, right? Instead of saying, oh, let me just fucking go along and, and half-ass it and whatever, you know? I was falling back into that can't grant shit. But anyway, before I get too far off top, topic, find someone, find something you can model greatness after. I'm shaking the shit out of this thing. Um, find someone you can model greatness after, man. And once you have it, get inspired, right? I said, life's too short to be half-assing through everything. And then, like I said, man, if you die today or tomorrow, you look back, you're like, damn, I didn't give 100%. God damn. I, let, I didn't leave it all out on the field. And I started thinking about that shit, right? And when I got hurt, that killed me. Because I'm like, I didn't leave it out all out on the field. Like I was, I was tiptoeing, I was pussyfooting. So I made it a point not to do that through life. And that's what's leading me to doing this shit here because I feel like I've come through this venue so masked at times that I have to be raw now. I have to be raw. Even if it's part, part time, look at that, fucking Dunkin' Donuts in the background and shit. You know, I, got, I gotta be raw 
because I feel like I've been giving you myself, but I've been giving you only the mask, one part of myself, right? This is me, this is who I am on a regular basis. And I'm telling you, find a motherfucker to model after greatness, woman, man, whoever it is, and, and, and let it inspire you. Like I said, I watched The Last Dance, all 10 episodes, three times because Michael Jordan inspires me to clean the toilet like a champion, right? That's the type of person you want to model and that's the type of person you want to be. I got to go get my Dunkin' Donuts. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.